Mars, once thought of as a quiet and desolate planet, has been consistently surprising scientists in recent years. Initially, it appeared as a cold, barren world with minimal activity. However, recent discoveries have completely overturned this perception. For starters, Mars is renowned for its colossal volcanoes, with Olympus Mons standing as the largest volcano in the entire solar system. You can even spot it through a regular telescope from Earth. Nevertheless, volcanic activity on Mars ceased a long time ago as the planet lost its internal heat. This, in turn, led to a weakening of its magnetic field, causing the solar wind to strip away its atmosphere and the remaining water to freeze. But here's where it gets interesting, Mars seems to have woken up. Thanks to thousands of images taken by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter between 2006 and 2020, scientists have identified numerous landslides and debris flows on the slopes of Martian volcanoes. More than 4,500 rock formations now resemble Christmas trees, a sign of significant seismic activity. Astonishingly, roughly a third of these formations didn't exist before 2006, suggesting recent tremors. So, what's the significance of all this? Well, these underground tremors led to the movement of massive boulders. Until recently, such seismic activity hadn't been observed on Mars. This newfound geological activity is quite intriguing, as it implies that Mars might not be as geologically inactive as we once believed. Now, what does this mean for the potential for life on Mars? While it remains a harsh environment with extreme cold, radiation, and no liquid water on the surface, there's still a chance that microorganisms could survive beneath its surface. Recent discoveries of subsurface lakes and the detection of organic molecules near ancient water sources have kindled hopes of finding microbial life. One of the critical tools in this search is the InSight spacecraft, which has been monitoring Mars for earthquakes using its seismic experiment for interior structure, CEASE, since 2018. Although Mars doesn't experience as many quakes as Earth, this discovery is significant. These quakes result from tectonic processes deep within the planet, suggesting that Mars remains active beneath its surface. Furthermore, the presence of methane in Mars' atmosphere has stirred the interest of scientists. On Earth, higher methane levels are often associated with living organisms. While there could be other explanations for this gas on Mars, its existence has sparked curiosity about the possibility of life on the planet. Additionally, the Mars Perseverance rover has found organic molecules near ancient water sources, which is a favorable location for life. These molecules contain carbon, a fundamental building block of life as we know it. This discovery, coupled with sulfate deposits that often preserve organic matter and signs of life, adds to the intrigue. But Mars isn't just about searching for life, it's also about preparing for human colonization. The unique device MOXIE, aboard NASA's Perseverance rover, is testing a method to produce oxygen from the Martian atmosphere's carbon dioxide. This could be a crucial step for future human missions as oxygen is essential for breathing and rocket fuel. In summary, Mars has proven to be more geologically active than previously believed, and recent discoveries hint at the possibility of past or even current microbial life beneath its surface. These findings are incredibly exciting and could have implications for both scientific understanding and future human exploration of the Red Planet. MOXIE, a remarkable tool on board NASA's Perseverance rover, has achieved something quite extraordinary. It managed to generate pure oxygen from carbon dioxide, CO2, the main component of Mars' atmosphere. Here's how it works, MOXIE essentially separates oxygen atoms from CO2 molecules, releasing carbon monoxide in the process. The Martian atmosphere, let's talk about why this achievement is so important. It's all about the potential it holds for future Mars missions. During its initial test run, MOXIE showed it can make around 5.4 grams of oxygen in just one hour. To give you a sense of scale, that amount of oxygen could keep an astronaut breathing for approximately 10 minutes. This is a big deal because on Mars, every breath really counts. Now, what makes MOXIE even more valuable is its ability to tap into nearly endless supplies of raw materials. You see, the Martian atmosphere is about 96% carbon dioxide, making it a rich source for producing oxygen. Additionally, MOXIE uses regolith, which is the Martian soil covering the planet. After some processing, this regolith can turn into fuel, breathable air, or even water when combined with hydrogen. NASA, led by SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, is paying close attention to these groundbreaking discoveries. Musk, a strong supporter of Mars exploration, is actively preparing for missions to the Red Planet. 
He even shares his vision of revealing the first images of astronauts on Mars as soon as 2029. SpaceX's Starship, equipped with 14 Raptor engines, plays a significant role in this ambitious plan. Moreover, NASA has picked Starship as the primary crew landing module for future moon missions. If everything goes according to plan, astronauts will set foot on the lunar surface in 2025 or 2027 as part of the Artemis III mission. Beyond the moon, NASA has its sights set on Mars, with the goal of sending a crewed spacecraft to the Red Planet by 2040. The plan involves using the moon as a refueling station. But making a home on Mars is no small task. The first crew is expected to land near the planet's equator, where scientists have found Mariner's Canyon, a location with liquid water. This water is essential for survival, serving purposes like drinking, agriculture, and everyday life. What's more, since Mars' natural atmosphere isn't suitable for humans, it has high levels of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon, generating oxygen, as shown by MOXIE, is crucial for future colonists. Elon Musk's grand vision also includes refueling rockets directly on Mars to make the journey back to Earth more feasible. This ambitious plan involves establishing a factory on Mars to produce methane and liquid oxygen from water ice and atmospheric carbon dioxide. This in-situ resource utilization could substantially reduce the costs and challenges of space travel. Lastly, the discovery of microorganisms in the subglacial lakes on Mars, if it happens, could change the game for colonization. These local microorganisms would be uniquely adapted to the harsh Martian conditions, and studying them could offer insights into how to protect future colonists from the planet's various challenges.